My name is Daryl Smith Jr. and this is my gray story. Five years old, my parents divorced due to my father being abusive, an alcoholic, and addicted to drugs. My mother moved back to Ohio, leaving me and one of my sisters with him. The rest of my childhood was spent moving back and forth between my mother and father. Many times and in many different states. I, I was constantly in a new school, never being able to settle down to a normal childhood. I was just spending my time trying to fit in wherever I was at the time. I was never able to establish my identity of who I really was. I experienced a lot of abuse and neglect which caused me to be very bitter and I became mean and abusive to anyone that was around me. I ended up moving back with my mother when I was 15. I was running with the wrong crowd. I dropped out of school in the ninth grade. I was constantly in trouble. I began experimenting with drugs and I was kicked out of my mother's house by the time I was 16. I was running the streets, staying at friends houses as I continued selling and doing drugs. I became part of a gang that was out of Cleveland and that got me placed in a juvenile justice center for possession of a gun. I soon met my girlfriend and I started our family. Our oldest son, Mason, was born in 1998. I was on a downhill spiral. I was a horrible father and did nothing to help their mother. I was not working and my abusing and selling drugs got out of control. When I finally hit rock bottom, I turned to my family desperate for help with the church's help they made it possible for me to get into team challenge this was a christian based rehab i had been exposed to church in my childhood by my grandmother who was always pushing it onto us which most of the time just turned me away even more but I was at rock bottom and I was willing to give anything a try. <clears throat> they were teaching us how to lead a structured life and we did devotions, chapel, every day. And attended a different church each Sunday. At first I wanted nothing to do with what they were teaching and was fearful they were just trying to brainwash me anyways one day they took us to an outside revival service in the inner city young in the inner city youngstown the service included gang members homeless people criminals and many others who were considered outcast by society many giving their life to christ and sharing their testimony that is when it clicked for me. I could relate to these people. These people were me. I went forward at I went forward at the service and I started my journey with Christ. I began to take what they were teaching us seriously and I completed a year-long program of Teen Challenge. I graduated from Teen Challenge May in May 2013 I was able to complete my GED later that year I had been I have been clean for two and a half years now I know I still have a long ways to go I want to be able to be the man of God and the dad my boys to my boys that God desires me to be I am always very thankful for where God has brought me from Please pray for me as Satan continues to try to trip me up every chance he gets.